In this video, I'll teach you guys how to get pets and get it up to tier 4 pets without spending any pearls and just free to play. And so what are we waiting for? Let's get this started. First of all, doing your research is very, very important. And so you guys need to go to pearl items every day or every week once in a while and then check out the new and hot. And then in here, guys, you guys can definitely find some pets. Um, so for example, if you go to hot, for example, we can see the ribbon cat. And that's on sale right now, guys. And so a lot of people are just buying these right now just to get some wizard and some ribbon cat. And so if you guys can hover those pets, you guys can actually see some prices. So for example, Ribbon Cat has 187, which max cap, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 200 mil. And so these are the stuff, guys, that you guys can buy in the market. So let's go check and confirm if they actually have it in the market. So right here, we just type Ribbon Cat. And just like that, guys, if you guys click on it, you guys can definitely see the price and you guys can see what's going on in here a lot of people are pre-ordering already because they already know what they're doing and they want to get some pets right now and so what they did was pre-ordering the ribbon cat and the recent traction was in february 8th and so these are the stuff that you guys also want to see if these pets are actually still on sale or not and you know has some any recent transaction and so just like that guys if you guys have 200 mil easily just request and order them and so after that, then you guys don't have to spend any pearls and just get free pets just like that with just silver in free to play. And same thing with all the other ones, guys, too. It's not just pets. It's the, let's say that you want some, you know, premium boxes. And so those are the stuff that you guys can look into as well and purchase. And so that is why the reason I have so many choppy here is guys is because in back then, when Choppy was on sale and people were purchasing in the pearl item, what I did was just, you know, pre-order them and basically just keep getting them and so that's how I got so many choppies here right now guys and so what I'm doing right now is just registering right and then after that I will make them tier 1 to tier 3 and then after making them to tier 3 I'll be probably making tier 3s to tier 4 and so that way I can be efficient on my pets you guys can also get a completely free pets by just doing quests guys and so all you guys have to do is just press O and then your quest log will come out and then click suggested after that, then you guys want to find the ADB support, pets, loyal, companions. And then after that, if you guys do all this, then you guys can easily get those pets. After that, for feeding the pets, you guys just want to buy the cheap feed and you can easily get them in Stable Keeper. You guys can get all these other ones too, but they can be complicated and very expensive. So I just recommend you guys just using cheap feed. But let's say that your pet is like level 1, but you want to level them faster. So you guys can, you know, use like higher feeds. So that way you guys can um, level up your pets faster. If not, you can just still you just use cheap feed and then eventually they'll be level 10. You do want to level up your pets to level 10, guys, is because, you know, the speed of looting changes as well. So, you know, speed of 10 to 4 seconds. Depending on level, higher level reduces the time. And so if you guys are level 10, technically they're picking up within 4 seconds. As you guys can see though, tier 1 and tier 2, they're literally the same thing, right guys? They're 4 seconds, and so you guys want to start getting like tier 3s, which will reduce it down to 3 seconds. But if you guys get it up to tier 4 pets, you guys can reduce it down to 2.5 seconds. There are 4 types of pets, such as there's classic, limited, premium, event. And wizard is really, really good guys, um, because it's not part of the, any category and can be exchanged with all type of pets. And so as you guys can see, just back in our BDO, if you guys go to Pearl item, and then if they're on sale with Wizard like these guys, the, you can literally turn them in and trade in for any like tier type of pets. And so that's the really nice thing about Wizard guys is that you guys can use them to level up to like tier four. And they do give higher chance as well. And so that is another reason why, you, you know, if you are buying Fluffy, for example, for me, you want to just keep buying Fluffy so that way you guys can just easily, you know, level up to tier four. Or if you guys are going for some kind of cat that we just talked about, then you want to just buy that. And make sure they're the same in the pet type so that way you guys can, you know, level up on the same category. And then the higher tier, you know, more skills you guys can get. So tier 1, you get only get 1. Tier 2, only 1. But tier 3, you get 2 skills. And tier 4, you get 3 skills. And these are the all skills that you guys can get from pets, which is luck plus 1 and combat experience increase. Combat recovery, those ones are really good for, you know, grinding. And then rest mostly are, you know, gathering stuff. So it's such as if you guys are into farming or training, hunting, cooking, alchemy. This is where, you know, pets can shine and give you guys that extra EXP. So you guys can level up your life skills faster. So just like right here, guys, when it explains, you know, you guys get all these abilities from each pets. And then it actually applies to skills and it actually tells you the total amount. 
So for example, if you guys pulled out all these five pets, and let's say that um, they had one karma here, one karma here, and so it just adds it up together, which is 5%, 5%, and so that's why it's 10% of karma recovery, and so it just adds it up for you guys, so that way you guys, you know, don't get confused, and, you know, it helps you with the calculation. And then with higher tiers as well, guys, you guys can get higher percentage as well, and so let's say that we get tier 4 um, for one of the pets, for, like, skill EXPs, you guys can get it up to 4%. And, but if you guys only have tier one pets, it's only gonna be one percent. So make sure you guys, you know, make it up to four percent, so that way you guys can get higher exp on tier four. You can also make tier five right after making tier four, but you can only pull out one alpha at a time. You can multiply make tier five pets, but you guys can't pull out two tier five pets. You have to either pick one of them, and so make sure you make your wise choice right there. So how do we get up to tier four pets? And so this is my strategy, guys, right here is just exchanging tier 1 plus 1 and if you do that we have 55 percent chance of getting tier 3 and if you're unlucky then you'll just make them to tier 2. if we do make tier 2s that's totally fine guys because later on when we make tier 4 we're most likely going to use all these tier 2s and so that way you know if it didn't happen on tier 3 we can just easily use tier 2s and make them to tier 4s later on in future and so right here guys we're just gonna click exchange and pick the class or pet that you guys want to do and then you guys can pick appearance if you want skills is going to be random and just type the name for example for me i know it's going to be tier 3 so i'm just going to put tier 3 and let's get it boom so from tier 1 to tier 3 guys 55 percent chance and we just easily just got it and so let's move on to the next one so once again we want to just pull out tier 1 pets and just do one tier pets as well and just go for 55 percent chance and it's 45% if you do fail. Boom! So we got unlucky there. So it's tier 2. And so let's move on to the next one. And just keep doing for the next one. So look at all these choppy guys that we bought. It's crazy. And so right here, guys. Tier 3. I know it's tier 3 for this one. Let's go. Tier 3. Easy clap, guys. And so just like that, from tier 1, you can easily just get it up to tier 3 just by just doing that. Tier 1 plus Tier 1, it should be 2, but, you know, it's Tier 3, so I'll take it. Ah, this one is Tier 2, but that's okay. We're going to save those for later. So now we're going to do it again. This one is really annoying, how you have to scroll down all the time. So, yeah, I'm just going to pick any pets right here. Tier 3. And is it a hit? Tier 3, easy clap, just like that, guys. And so this is the strategy that I usually like to do if I want to just make Tier 3 pets whenever I want. Boom, Tier 3 pets, guys, just like that. And so you guys just want to make a lot of Tier 3 pets just like this because later on, when you want to make Tier 4 pets, um, you will probably need a lot of Tier 2s and Tier 3s, guys. And so look at that, just again, Tier 3. Just like that, guys. Easy clap. I think this is tier two. Yeah, I got too lucky. Three times in a row, bro. There's no way I hit two threes like four times in a row. We're almost there, guys. Let's keep going. Let's see if this is tier three. I think it is. And boom, just like that. Tier three, just like that. And look at this, guys. If you scroll down, look at all these tier 2s and 3s we got, right? That's a lot of tier 3s that we just made. We got super lucky there. It's definitely RNG, and so I really hope you guys get RNG cared. If not, you know, it's okay to just have tier 2s because we're going to, you know, use them for tier 4 attempts later in future. So right here, I only have one tier 1 pet, but I don't have another tier 1 pet. So what I'm going to do is just use it on tier 2 pet and on a tier 1 pet. And then instead of 55 chance, guys, now we have 65% because it's tier 2 plus 1. So instead of 55, we got it up to, you know, 10 more percent. And so let's see if we hit it or not. Dang it. And we lost it. And so, you know, it's still RNG, but whatever. And so let's make tier 4 pets, guys, now. So what we want to do now is I'm going to actually level up my griffin to tier 4. So what we're going to use here is tier 3s and tier 3s and tier 2s of the choppies. And then, yeah, I want to have Griffin, so make sure your appearance is on Griffin. And if you put Choppy, then you guys going to get Choppy, so make sure you do that. And then skills, you guys can, you know, click random, or if you guys like the skills that you wanted, 
then you keep it and then go for it guys so look at that just like that guys we hit it 95 percent tier 3 to tier 4 easily just like that guys 95 is really really high chance and so yeah i highly recommend using this strategy guys so once again i think i have another griffin so let's see what i can do here all right so let's just put our griffin and same strategy guys so the ones that we don't want right like those leaf clovers i don't need those luck and so screw that and then yeah just pick one of the tier two guys and then 70 percent right now but because of tier two it gives us 95 percent and it should be a hit guys easy clap right what are the odds we failed a five percent <laughs> Bro, what? Nani the fun? Okay, I got scammed, guys. What the frick? Oh my gosh. What? No. Alright, well, whatever. That one failed, so it's okay. I still have backup, guys. I still have two tier threes, one tier two, still 95%. There's no way I failed another 5%, guys. Easy cleft. So just click appearance. Griffin. I want freaking Griffin. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I fail this, I'm gonna just uninstall the game. Oh, thank god, BDO. I was about this close to uninstall this game, guys. Holy crap, but look at this, guys. Now, tier fours are shining on my pet list. And so, there you guys have it. That is one strategy that I use to make, you know, just tier fours whenever I want. And yeah, that is all the video for this video. And so hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully that you guys can get to tier 4 just like I did. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.